So this is our 2012 Cabernet. And I mentioned that uh, we like to make these wines distinct. And this is a, um, we, for our Cabernet, we, we, we pull off of mainly uh, four different uh, vineyards. And one is an older vine uh, vineyard. It's planted on its own rootstock. So I think that's really unique. We have two blocks on the entire vineyard that are like that. And those blocks really express what I think of as traditional Cabernet. They're, and the others are grafted? Yes, okay. exactly. So they're grafted. Um, so we have two blocks, uh, our old vine Petit Syrah block, and this one of our Cabernet uh, blocks that goes into our, our vineyard series wine. And I, I get a lot of um, this cracked pepper and a little bit of green bell pepper within that block. Then we move up to the top of the hill on the, on the terraces where it's very exposed. The clusters get very small. They're in the wind. Uh, the soils are very parsimonious. They, the soils steal water faster than the plants can get them. So everything's like miniaturized up on the top of the hill. And you get these very concentrated flavors. This, and what I always call it uh, chalk and cherries. You can, you can taste that old ocean floor. Um, and you can taste those, those, that dark cherry concentration. Um, we blend also uh, some Petit Verdot, which uh, Petit Verdot is, it, it has these, uh, I would say like lavender, uh, kind of uh, sage brushy notes, almost, almost like coastal California. I would say when, if you're walking on the coast, you, got, you have this uh, coyote brush and the coastal sage, and you can smell that. That's what Petit Verdot reminds me of. And then it has this, this dark evilness to it that I really like. It's like this cloaked grape that kind of comes in. And, but we, we put a, a percentage of that darkness into our, into our Cabernet, um, which I really like. And, and that really, I think that the Petit Verdot takes it from uh, being kind of that unilateral, very cherry fruit and brings it more into the, that blackness. So you get more of that ripe thing cherry rather than the rainier cherry. And then you also get, I don't know, I guess it's, it's that evilness. I'm kind of drawn to it. Taste the evil. <laughs> it smells wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so there's a... When I'm tasting this wine, I, I, I do taste. I taste the top of the hill, uh, where the Cabernet comes from. I taste that Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot gives it that length and more of that tannic structure, which people are used to for, for Cabernet. That's, that's what they're looking for, um, those dark currants. Very good. Thank you.